Hey folks, Harry here, the Irrational Loser, and in today's episode, we take on the Ender Dragon. Alright, before we get started and actually get some more of the Netherite templates, I do need some diamonds. So I have all of these diamonds here, I have my Fortune 3 pickaxe, so let's see how many we get from this. Nice, just under two and a quarter stacks, which is really good. I have extra diamonds up here. I think it's about 58 the last time I checked, but I did repair, no, 55. So that takes us up to three stacks and six. That is way more than enough. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten templates. So how many do I have? Oh, wow, that's really good. And I'll switch over my pickaxe from my fortune to... <laughs> I spelled that wrong. My silk touch. And let's go and get a load of these templates made. Okay, we're back home. Let's make these. How many do I need again? I need 10 in total. And then obviously 11 for the spare upgrade or the template, like so. So now we have the full 10 which is every single piece of our armor, as well as two pickaxes and a hoe, which is amazing. But we only have enough for three netherite scrap. So I'm going to need to go into the nether and get a whole load of ancient debris. And the best way to find the ancient debris is actually using the bed method and blowing up in the nether. Now I have a lot of sheep here, but this is not efficient enough to produce a lot of wool over and over and over and over again and I want to get a area set up for all the colours of the wools so that we have the stock available to us if we need it. So let's get building that. So what I'm going to need for this build is some wood. I want to use the spruce for this just because I like the way the spruce looks and I do need a lot of stone, some andesite. I don't have a lot of andesite here, but I should be able to get to our building area, not our building area, our mining area, and get a load of it there. I also want stone bricks and cracked stone bricks, so I'm going to need to make them up and smelt them up as well. So I have a load of stone in this chest. I want about three stacks of cracked stone bricks and three stacks of normal stone bricks and they're fairly easy to make these oh i think i over made actually whoops so three stacks of cracked and three stacks of normal and i can come up here because i do have some furnaces here already that i can throw these in and i just need to find my coal do i have zero coal I have zero coal. Oh, I just, just found this stuff. Oh, that's handy. Have I got anything else in here? No. So, I have andesite. I have the stone, the cracked bricks, and the normal bricks. And now it's time to build. Let's get to it.
and it's done. Um, I'm not too sure about it though. I like it, but it just seems bland. It feels bland. Like that could probably come out a wee bit, these bits, because I've done it this way. Uh, it feels too flat. And I don't like that about some Minecraft builds. I don't like the flatness. Like this, I don't like that. I like this. I like where it juts out a wee bit. But yeah, we are now got this finished and we are getting lots and lots of wool in here. I've been just running it while I've been building and we got about two stacks from that. That's good. Now up here I'm going to kind of put in the place for hay and things like that once we actually get the hay together. But it's just supposed to be a, like a stock area for feeding this lot. And I really forgot how I'm going to get in, so I'm probably going to put like a trap door over this side. And let myself come in on like both sides obviously. But yeah, so just under two stacks of wool will get us quite a few beds. I do have... Ah, there it is. A load of wood all ready to go and that gets us lots of beds plus an extra 16. So that's good. That'll be really good for blowing up quite a bit of the nether. I will probably have to come back in here. Thankfully, this is in the spawn chunks. So that will load, hopefully. But let me know what you think of this build and should I jut out these bits? Yeah, just let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Like, should I bring this out one more? I think I should. Because I just don't feel it. I think it just doesn't feel right. And I don't know what it is. But yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, I'm ready. I have got lots of beds. I have got lots of beds. Let's go get some ancient debris. I applaud I Jevon in season nine of Hermitcraft. This is a nightmare. I have been going for maybe two, no, I'd say about three hours now. And that's all I've got. I need another nine to even get close to finishing. Nine more to go. I'm done. Finally. I have got, <laughs> I've got them all. I've got all nine here, plus an extra one. And I have got a full one back at base. So let's get home, get these smelted. This just looks insane. Like, severely insane. Now I have 40 pieces fully, enough to get fully kitted out, which just feels amazing. So I'm going to stick that in there, going to get it smelted up, and then we're going to goldify everything. And then we're going to head over to the enchantment area, Enchant up a few new PCs because we're getting on in these and to be honest I don't like thorns so I want to get rid of that and I've also lost my helmet so I don't know where that is, it probably is over there anyway Shh. So we'll enchant them Shush. We'll enchant them all up and upgrade them It shouldn't be too bad I didn't think you were that close to me Anyway, shouldn't be too hard and we will be ready to go and get the last bit of today's episode done. But before we do any of that, I need to get the mending. So I have enough for three books so far. And now I need to go and get some more potatoes and carrots because I'm, I've run out. First things first is our pickaxes need mending. So they're the easiest ones to, or not. Huh. Okay. I'll stick one on the hole. And then they've got that. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I want to upgrade these. What have I got in this? I've got fire protection on that. And they're just giving protection. What about you? You're giving not back to... Do you know, honestly, this is good enough of a sword that I could just put mending on it. What are we getting on these? Depth Strider 3. 
I already have that. I want Feather Falling. I need to get the levels. Do you want to know how much of an idiot I am? I'm literally sitting here trying to get all the mending and all that sort of stuff done. And I was just flying about just to kind of look and see what was going on. And I seen these cherry blossoms and I was like, oh my gosh, why is a cherry blossom so close to my house that i never seen? I planted these. That's how much of an idiot I am. I planted them. And we've got the 65 levels, that's us done. We can get mending on our last two. Uh, I probably would just do this, but to be honest, I just want to get on with what we need to do. So, where's my crafting table? We will craft up all 10 ingots, take off all of our armor, and we will get started. So, netherite helmet. The chest plate, the leggings, and the boots gives us cover, me and debris. Nice. And then we can go ahead and put it on the hole, giving us another challenge complete. And then we'll get the sword, the pickaxe, axe, the shovel, and lastly, our fortune three pickaxe as well. Nice. All suited and booted. Looking good. It's time to get on with the next part. Oh. I just literally just came out. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. Um. Do not have anything I need. If you had cactus or sea pickles. I would have fell in love with you. But, um, this guy. Um, can I take it out without spawning the rest of them in? Yes. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so first things first, we need to head back into the nether and we need to head up there. I'm already hearing some bad things up here, including a weather skeleton. Whoa! Um. What happened there? <laughs> okay. Let's secure this wee bit. Whew. Right, okay. Grab that. Ooh. I see Okay, so I made a little makeshift killing area. Not too hard to do, really. The only problem is that the way they spawn can be quite detrimental. Uh, ooh, there's gas over there. But yeah, so there is a few down here which is really bad, but I mean, there's still some spawning in, and they will attack me every now and again, but I have made more than enough blaze rods to not really have to worry about it. I get such a fright there. As long as I am safe and careful, like that, there shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's just finding the places that I need to kind of block off to secure for myself. Right. 28. I think we got another one rod giving us half a stack of blaze powder. And then we just need to go and find some endermen. Yeah, I can't count. It was another two. Oh. Hello. Okay. We have found some warp stuff. But I don't know how much of it. And it feels seriously precarious. Um, oh, right. Wow. There's a lot over here. This seems like a good bit of land. Uh, I think I need to go up a few blocks. Wait, you can't make these into boats? Hmm. Did not know that. Well, that changes a lot. 
Okay. That's annoying, but like... Not the end of the world. Why did I think you could make them into boats? Something, something was telling me you could. Probably moddy, to be honest with you. Right, let's try and find an enderman. Okay, I gave up. I decided to come and do button. Um, done all right so far. I honestly thought I would have got more than I did. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got a lot of good stuff, like some obsidian and soul speed three, but I did not get a single ender pearl in that. Kinda annoyed. Back to the drawing board. Oh, finally. Got all 16. Let's go home. Okay, back home. I picked up the blaze rod, no, blaze powder from over there. Got some uh, obsidian as well. And I'm going to turn all of these into the eyes. And then I'm going to create an ender chest. The reason I'm doing this is because when I go to the end, and if I go further into the cities, I can pop all my stuff in my ender chest over there and go and jump off into the void and come back home quite quickly. But yeah, that's that done. And now it's time to go and look for the stronghold. Actually, a lie, I need some obsidian so that we can create a nether portal and make it easier for us to get to and from the end again. Okay, we have got a lot of obsidian now. Enough for a portal, which is all we need. So let's find out where we need to go. That direction, okay. We're here. Let's get the nether portal sorted first before we go anywhere else. Ah. Where did you come from? Did I actually need to do that? I didn't want to do that, but okay. Right, obsidian. It's a good thing I've got my... Silt touch pickaxe with me. Oh, this would be a lot harder. I hope I've got enough. Oh, just, wow. Right, uh, you, we do that. Now let me open this up. Hopefully we're not anywhere dangerous. Not too bad. Right, let's look at the coordinates and I can pop this into a Google Doc that I've got. And then that will let me remember where it is and I can get home and back quite easily. I don't think I'm that far, actually. But yeah, let's get this all set up and ready to go. And then we can just jump in and get the dragon done. Right, let's do this. I have no idea where the dragon is. Let's hope we can get up there quite quickly. Oh, bombs. Oh. <coughs> Oh, that was lucky. Uh, I forgot about that. Right, hey, come on. <laughs> Got that one. Got that one. That was good. That was a good shot. And that one. Shot. Hey, look down, look down, look down. Do not get caught out. Yay! Right. There's oh jeez. Hey, there's still one up here. You're up there. Hey, okay. Why are you up so high? Down. Whoa. Oh, I really 
Idioten. I do more Dior. Thank goodness I have that one. Yes! Get a torch before it falls. Oh, I've got hundreds of torches. What do I need to do that for? <sighs> and then we get the egg. Nice. Oh, that's just so nice to see. <sighs> that was so good. I'm so happy with that. 